Hey guys, do not use full synthetic engine oil for older cars. It can damage your engine and cause oil leaks. Is this true? Yes and no. Let's take a greater look at the details about these myths and facts. You can see where all the confusion is coming from. Around the 70s, when synthetic oil was being used popularly by commercial companies, there was being too much ester added to the oil causing the seals to become brittle not supple, allowing them to leak. Not to mention that people say that this oil cleans much better than conventional. Is this true? Absolutely. Now if your engine has sludge in it, this sludge is actually going to end up starving metal components of the oil that it needs to provide that sacrificial layer of protection. And you're going to have a lot of wear occur. So that engine is pretty much done for. Now let's talk about where synthetic oil can be a legitimate problem with flat tappet cams and high tension valve springs. The reason that the oil isn't good with those older engines is because today's oil doesn't contain as much zinc or zinc diacophosphate, also zinc and phosphorus, known as ZDDP. Now, this element is actually providing a great wear additive for the engine oil. Unfortunately, they started phasing this out in 1994 and it's been slowly being phased out with each new API certification. The oil companies really don't have any dog in this fight. You can definitely go out there and get an additive that could help, but why are they phasing this out? You might ask. So unfortunately, yes, it can create more carbon buildup when it's being burned in the combustion chamber and so forth. And as you know, some vehicles, or some people would say all vehicles do burn oil, but I would say that a lot of vehicles, unless you're burning an excessive amount, if you don't even notice a change on the dipstick after 5,000 miles, then probably not that big of an issue. However, it can damage your catalytic converter. Now this compound was invented by Castrol and they used this to make a great engine oil as a lot of great discoveries have been made. But unfortunately, with restrictions due to environmental changes, it has hurt us in a lot of ways. Now, for people with older engines, I would definitely say that if it were me personally, I would absolutely get an additive. But I will go up there and say that if you'll look into it, a lot of these engine oil companies say that they've tried to do things, adding more boron and so forth, but to no avail. Now, are these modern engine oils good enough? Unfortunately, that's one of the things they say. They say it is good enough. Now, a lot of engines past that time we're actually using roller cams, which are much better and you probably wouldn't need it at that point, but that's not the only time. As a matter of fact, during the break-in period, when engines need this the most. Now what's happening? The cylinder walls aren't perfect. Yeah, they may look honed and nice and so forth, but they need that extra layer of protection until the engine's broke in. That's why some companies such as GM actually require more ZDDP in their oil at this time of the break-in. Now, if you're concerned that your piston rings won't seat properly during the break-in period, you should be using an additive and you should contact your engine builder and see what he has to say about this. Also, you can check out these engine oil companies and ask them for a sheet showing the PPM parts per million for the zinc levels in all of their motor oil. There are other ways around this. Some oils with higher levels, such as diesel oils, have higher levels of zinc. Now I will say that you should remember this is not made for a gasoline engine and a lot of people do recommend it, but they have also been phasing it out of diesel oils as well and it may not be enough you do need the correct amount, so don't just go in there blindly doing this and doing that. Make sure you have the correct information. Contact the company. Get what you need. Guys, if there's any information that you can share, please drop down in the comments below and do so. I know a few companies that do make great break-in additives, such as Lucas, 
a TBZ break-in additive. Also, Redline makes a break-in additive in many other companies. Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.